Hello, Paloma teachers. I hope everybody's having a great summer. It's going by way too fast, that's for sure. We're almost in August. Um, I wanted to do a little preview today of book three. Paloma Piano does have book three and also book four. So I wanted to do some previews of those method books because they're going to be published later in the summer. So I'm going to give you a screenshot of the table of contents so you can see some of the things that we're working on. And I have it divided up on the website into part A and part B because it's 90 pages. That's a lot to print out all at once. So um, part A is G major. We had some of that in book two. E minor, the dotted quarter note, F major, and D minor. Those are some of the skills. The first little piece is called Kaylee's Garden. It goes like this. And on and on. Um, after that, there's a little piece called the tambourine. It's an Iroquois lullaby. And the first part goes like this. So then it kind of goes. And you have the tune and the translation there. It's a Native American song. Pot of pan. And after that, we're going to learn about the dotted quarter eighth note. Um, there's some practice, some music that shows what it's like with a dotted quarter and without some familiar tunes. Or they could play. So they can see the difference. And then after that, there's a little arrangement of London Bridge that has the dotted quarter eighths and a silly thing called the dotted duet, which really drilled into their head. which is in the key of F. And it keeps going. And there's a little teacher duet that goes with that one. Then there's a rose called Leche. Um, you can hear that in the video gallery. And that's actually on the free content, so some people might have that. Um, after that, Lonely Lock is in the key of D minor, and it's a big, big favorite with my teenage girl students. They liked it so much, a lot of them said, Miss Doreen, where is that one like that? So I did Summer Wing Mansion, and that's in book four. So that takes care of part A. And now we're going to talk about part B. In part B, we have D major um, key signature and scale. We have phrasing. We have chord basics, the Alberti bass, the triplet, and arpeggios. And it opens with uh, the D major scale and the B minor scale. And then we have a little arrangement of little Liza Jane in D major. <laughs> Super easy arrangement of Pachelbel's Canon. And it kind of skips over to. So students can play it, it's fairly easy. Um, the next chapter is about phrasing. There's a little piece called Tuscany Waltz that I wrote. Phrase 
marks through that. Kind of explains what phrasing is. Farfalina is actually in the free content, so you can listen to the video there. That's a little Italian song also to reinforce phrasing in the key of D major. And then the Russian folk song by Ludwig van Beethoven, that's in G. Um, the next chapter is going to be about chord basics, and it goes through some basic four and five and five seven triads, and just to kind of explain to the students about the chords, a little bit about how to build chords, and some easy chord songs in case they want to branch into some popular music and things like that. So there's um, the Lisa Jolly Good Fellow and My Country Tis of Thee, and that's in two keys, so they can see the chord symbols and also write in the chords if they want. And then after that, we're jumping over to um, Alberti bass. So to teach them a little bit about that. And the first piece is going to be a little piece called um, A Bow to Mr. Mozart. And it kind of sounds like Mozart. And then there's a few other pieces that have Alberti bass. The Sunflower Dance. The next um, section is the B flat major scale and the G minor scale. There's a little piece, a uh, twinkle twinkle little star piece with Alberti bass that's in B flat major. And then a few other um, pieces that deal with the Alberti bass. And then we have the triplet and some triplet e examples. And the first triplet piece is the wedding march. <laughs> Train that also deals with triplets. Last but not least, in book three, we start with arpeggios, and it takes our, um, the students through all the arpeggios that we learned in every key so far, and then ends up with a little piece called Blue River, which is all arpeggios and inversions, so that they can play it, and it goes like this. And there's a little teacher duet that goes with that. And at the end of the book, there's just a book three review, and that shows all those skills that we learned in book three. There's also a book four, so I'd like to do a preview of that, and that'll be in a future email. So thank you so much for listening and being members of Paloma Piano. Have a great rest of your summer.